my mystic tribe welcome back i hope that you are really good and that you had a blessed diwali for those of you that celebrated it and um, i went down to our local um the, it's a museum a local museum they had this big diwali festival on so i've got the hair done um, and i really really enjoyed the celebration of it so blessed diwali to those of you that celebrate it and to those of you that don't happy blessed diwali as well so I have actually got a little bit of an update for you for next week's reading. We're going to have a super, super special next week's reading. So we're going to do, are you uh, in their thoughts or are they thinking about you? However, we are going to be using Yasmin Westwood's tarot. And the reason why we're going to be doing that is because Yasmin Westwood is going to come and join us on, um, on the episode. So I will be doing the reading and she will be explaining to you the cards. So these are her artwork, if you haven't seen it. This is... Uh, the tarot of enchanted dreams by her and this is the tarot of the enchanted soul she's a good friend of mine and then um, i thought you guys would really really enjoy it really embrace it so let me just show you some of the imagery on here um i left that one out so that's the ace of pence and um, so she'll be joining us as we do the reading um you're very very pretty and she'll be able to tell you what the cards mean, what they significated at the time that she drew the drew them and um, worked with them. Okay, so that's that one. And let me show you the other one, which is Enchanted Soul. I want to ask her why she kept choosing Enchanted, because you've got Enchanted Dreams and Enchanted Soul. And I know her deck that's coming out next year is called the Westwood Tower, I think she said. Um, but we'll talk to her about that. So this is her other deck. They're just so, so beautiful. Um, so she's going to be joining us on our next pick a card when we look at the energy of you and the person you're asking about Ooh, boxed and the thoughts okay so yeah Yasmin Westwood come to join us on the next pick a card it's going to be a super special one so make sure uh, that you subscribe so what we're going to do today is are you on their mind now before we do it I'm just gonna we're gonna do something a little bit different today and I know the majority of you know that I'm a little bit of a Swifty. I know it's a little bit embarrassing <laughs> for those who are like, oh my God, not Taylor Swift. I also like drum and bass um, and metal music as well. So when I was growing up, it's all like corn and Slipknot and all that kind of stuff. But as I've got older, I became a bit of a Swifty fan. So instead of us doing pick a card, I'm going to get you to pick a song using the Swifty Eras deck. Oh, can you imagine? So I'm going to get one card associated with deck number one and one card associated with deck number two. And then I will show you what songs you get and I want you to pick the song. So one card for deck number one. Can't see it yet. It's flipped over. And one card for deck number two. You're going to pick your song. Before I get going, any updates for you? So I've got an article coming out in Witches Magazine, um, the winter edition. I think it's coming around, out around December 14th. So you're interested in looking that up. It's all about magic manifestation using the magician card in tarot. Um, and I've also got one that's going to be coming out in the spring edition of Witches Magazine as well. Um, it's a UK-based magazine, but it's definitely kind of internationally shipped and international-based as well. So UK-based, but it goes international. Um, so yeah, go check it out which is magazine i'll keep you posted when it gets um when it gets released into the world um anything else podcast mystical moon day musings go check it out and anything else i need to tell you i think that's about it oh spaces for readings yeah i have video readings and i have same day voice return note readings on instagram and facebook so if you want your answer today it's only 10 pound a question so you can just give me a shout okay card number one card well, song number one, song number two. Interesting cards. Okay, song number one. Guys, this is your card. Queen of Swords. I want you to pick the song you're most drawn to. Only 20 minutes to sleep, but, your dream, but you dream of some epiphany. Just one single glimpse of relief to make some sense of what you've seen. Okay, so that is your song number one. Look at me shaking. I did my arms yesterday at the gym. <laughs> did my arms yesterday at the gym, did the biceps, and I've got I've got the shakes today. Um, so that is song number one. And song number two is the King of Pence. And the King of Pence, every conquest I had made would have made me more of a boss to you. I'd be a fearless leader, I'd be an alpha type. Because if I was a man, then I'd be a man. Okay, pick the song you are drawn to. Number one, number two. Really interesting that both both of these are court cards. Um, so they're really embodying your personal energy into each deck. Number one, number two. And I saw a post on um, on socials the other day. They said, we don't call him King of Pentacles. Well, we don't call him Sugar Daddy in reality. We call him the King of Pentacles. Um, and that's kind of how I feel about the tower. We don't call it a shitstorm. We call it the tower. <laughs> okay, so song number one. Let's get going. So Queen of Swords. 
um, and we're using the Quentaro. I was I was lucky enough to get this at an auction. Um, so this is it's not released yet, I don't think. It's coming out. Um, this is the original Kickstarter deck over here. I think you can get a satin silk version of it if you like it. Um, but this one, I think it comes out later next year. So that is the original Kickstarter and that is the deck that you have picked. For those of you that like tarot. Okay. Oh my goodness, okay. Cards are playing with you already. So, are you on your person's mind? I want you to just think about your person. And I'm just going to pull that collective energy of the ball. So, where it's on collective energy, and if you need an individual reading, you can just give me a shout. Okay, are you, are the people watching, on their person's mind? Two. Oh, very interesting. These cards are just so beautiful. I've got to say, they are, they are so, so pretty. Three. Let me get five. Four. Five. Okay. So we've got quite a interesting energy going on with you guys. So what's probably going on in your life at the moment is that your person has took a step back from the situation. They might have ghosted. They might just have gone really quiet. Um, you might have decided that it's time to take a step back. So everything's like quite silent going on. You might be in radio silence. But, 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 but. They are absolutely thinking of you. And with the song at the start, only 20 minutes to sleep, but you dream of some epiphany. You have your person really kind of dreaming about you. You are in their thoughts as they go to sleep. And spirit saying to me very clearly, you are the first thing they think about in the morning and the last thing they think of at night before they go to sleep. Now, I'm not sure what Taylor Swift song this is, to be fair. Um, I think... I can hear it, but I'm not quite sure which one it is. So not that much of a Swifty. Um, but the, the lyrics of it about the sleeping, get a glimpse of relief. They're feeling very, very heavy over the energy with you at the moment. They're feeling quite sad about the way things have turned out. And the High Priestess coming in next to the Queen of Swords. And this is your energy, okay? So we're never gender specific or sexually orientated on this channel. But tarot always works with a male and female energy. So the High Priestess is your divine feminine energy. It is your power energy. It is your magic energy. And it's really interesting, the article that I've written for the Spring uh, Witches magazine is about the High Priestess and about her and her shadow walking. So you are very much in your person's thoughts at the moment. And they're almost wondering if you've done some kind of witchery on them because they're like, hold on a second, I've took a step back from this situation, but I can't get them out of my mind. I can't stop thinking about them. What is happening? Um, you're, in the, the, <clears throat> you're in their dreams, you're in their thoughts, and you are absolutely on their mind. And the energy as above, so below coming up over here with the high priestess as well. Everything that's happening in the higher dimensions is kind of falling into this 3D world. So there is this connection going on with you. Even if they took a step back, remember separation is an illusion, okay? We are all one. So they are definitely thinking about you, feeling you, sensing you, picking up on your energetic field, energetic bodies, emotionally connected to you, physically connected to you, not quite yet, but you have got that spiritual and emotional connection happening with you guys. You are the power of this. You are the driving force. Likely to be a more divine connection with the, these cards kind of coming up over here. So you could be twin flames. You could be higher vibrational soulmates. You have that power energy coming up. Look how beautiful she is. Isn't she pretty, the high priestess? You know, and she she is the magic. She is the, the two world walker. So the other side of it is I really want you guys to, to trust your own intuition, okay? So even if the situation is a little bit sparse or a little bit naked or a little bit un, not really here, not really there, trust your own intuition, okay? You are not getting false information, Spirit telling me really clearly. Now, the other card's coming up. So I said about walking away. So this is where the Eight of Cups is coming in. Okay, so you walked away. There's been a walking away from a situation, going out to new adventures, taking a step back from things. But there is also this very strong reconnection with you. So the other three cards you got, I'll show you. You got the Two of Cups. You got the World. And you've got the Page of Pentacles, okay? So with these other cards coming up over here, you have a very, very strong love connection. You have this dynamic of real beautiful soul magnifying love, okay? So the connection is extremely, extremely real. The world, 
You've got an end of a cycle, beginning of a new one and success. There's a joining of you two coming together. And if you are waiting for them to message with the page of pentacles over here, they are absolutely going to be texting you. Now, what they're going to be texting you is likely to be something that's going to be like, I can see a future with you. I've missed you. You are the one for me. Let's get married. Let's start again. Let's travel the world together. You're likely to get something that is a little bit more um, st stability based. OK, so talking to you about what they want to do about the connection between you guys, building that growth, building that stability just want to say with that just be a little bit careful because obviously it's a page and sometimes pages come with a little bit of immaturity okay so actions often speak louder than words if they give you the words and they give you the blah de blahs make sure that they put it into action as well okay just a little bit of a warning over that so they're about to bounce back to you if you want to look at individual timings you can give me a shout there's also this individual healing energy that's going on okay so if you can see on the two of cups over here um in england this is a sign that we have on our ambulances okay um and it is a sign of healing josie my podcast host she said it was something to do with uh i can't even remember what she said but she spoke about it to be honest and she said it was a symbol of um some kind of divine healing energy and then that's what i said oh it's on ambulances as well so there has been this healing energy going on with you guys we also have with this card the helix and with more divine connections we talk about a helix how you wave in and out of each other's life as you go through your individual healing and you go through your individual growth okay so you have all of this energy energy happening here your power your love your message is going to be coming through and a successful outcome okay so are you on their mind absolutely and with the queen of swords song over here um at first thing in the morning last thing at night grieving sadness there is a sadness over here and this sadness is going to be what brings the messages in okay so if they have gone ghost or are a little bit quiet on you fear not my friends <laughs> fear not they will return to you and that is deck number one so if you need me for individual readings and you want to know your individual timings individual questions i do do same day return on voice notes at the moment it does change daily uh, but today as of today it's 10 pound per question and um, so if you're like will he return to me we can look at that will they come back what will happen next anything that is you want to know the answer to is only 10 pound and you'll get it on today you'll get the answer today so it's pretty pretty neat um so yeah check it out go find me on insta mr glove Toro. okay guys a deck number two or card number two queen of swords now i do know this song not that one that's the wrong song that's the wrong one that was deck number one queen of pentacles i do know this song so this is the song the man by taylor swift and i've got to say it really isn't one of my favorite songs at all um but it does come from the album lover okay so straight off the bat you have this loving energy coming forward now with the man card on here remember we're never sexually oriented or gender specific on this channel but this is talking about how it's kind of one way for you and one way for them so you might find that things are a little bit unfair on the balance spectrum between you guys, okay? So your person kind of doing what they want, going where they want, being who they want, allowing everything to kind of happen to them. And you guys kind of like, well, you know what? I would kind of like that energy to be reciprocated because I'm sitting here waiting for you, finding out where you are, what's going on. I haven't got a clue. So you've got this kind of opposite end of the spectrum scale that your person is kind of doing what they want to do and you're just sitting there waiting to see what happens. But there is a love energy with it being the lover's card and there is a stable energy with it being the king of pants. So King of Pants um, will be your person's energy. So rather than them just being the man and going off and doing what they want in that Taylor Swift song, they have got this st stable, secure energy around them. OK, so they're quite clued up in themselves. They quite know what they're doing with their life. Um, but they are just kind of living their best life at this point in time. They're quite family focused. So if there are kids involved in this situation, they are going to be focusing on kids. And obviously, if you are a third party connection, you will know about that. But this could be to do with their family, that they are just spending that time with them. So let's go into your tarot. So the tarot that you guys picked was, 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 was tarot of, I want to say the tales, tarot of tales. That's the guidebook. I never read guidebooks as you can tell like <laughs> I, I just I never read the guidebooks and um, some people are horrified because I used to say I used to chuck them out I don't chuck them anymore um I do keep them um but yeah so Tarot of Tales is the one that you have picked 
So we're just going to do a collective reading on you and your King of Pentacles. So things like your person for me as I pull out that collective energy. And we are going to do are you on their mind? Oh, also, I've got, a, I've got a real special thing coming up for you guys. So I don't know if you've ever seen Yasmin Westwood's tarot. Um, next week, I'm going to be recording a reading with her like this. And whilst I do the reading, she's going to be talking you through her cards. So looking at your person, their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. And let's just pull some cards on are you on their mind? One. Three of pence. It kind of really indicates what we were talking about with the King of Pentacles over here as well. It is all about stability, security, um, kind of work orientated. But if they are involved in a third party situation, this would be that indicator. The third party on here as well, when I talk about third parties, it doesn't specifically necessarily mean someone they're involved with someone else. It can be alcohol, drugs, escapism, behaviour, um, anything where they are kind of embracing that shadow side aspect. So you can almost see the third party situations as the shadow side so are you on their mind for so i'm just getting this song and i can't remember who sang it if it if it ain't love it was a dance song so there's a song in that for you you have to google it or write it in the comments because i cannot remember who that is by <clears throat> so you've got three of three of pence Ten of swords, uh -oh. king of wands, six of wands, the world. So right off the bat, the energy that's coming forward is your person is in this sense of avoidance. And this is where the third party comes in. This is where the song comes in. So I said they're off doing what they want, being their own person. And you're left on the sideline thinking, wait, hold on a second. What is happening? So right off the bat, your person is in avoidance. So they are, you are in their mind but they are pushing it to the back. And what's really interesting, what Spirit just said to me, is they feel that they can bounce in and out of your life whenever they please. So you've probably been in a bit of a loop with this person, your person that you're asking about. You've probably found that they kind of wandered away and then came back and then you reconnect and then maybe you wandered away and then you come back and then you reconnect. So you have this energy that's kind of historical in, in a sense that you keep going round and round in a cycle with them. And the reason why it's happening is because your person is really thinking with this kind of sexual energy. They're trying to live their best life. They're trying to soak up life for what it is. And they do have these feelings for you. But at the same time, they're like, I'm going to just see what else is out in this big wide world. And this is where the song comes in again. OK, so you guys might be in a state with the Ten of Swords and no contact. Things might have come to an end. You might be feeling a little bit stabbed in the back. You might be feeling betrayed. You might have heard news about your person and um, that's come back to you and it's really upset you. There's something here which isn't quite adding up for you. OK, so the majority of you guys, again, remember, it's a collective reading. If you want individual ones, give me a shout. But something isn't adding up. You're like, hold on a second. I offered them everything and now they're off being their own man and being their own person. And why is this actually happening? And this is where, again, the third party energy coming in, escapism behaviour. It could be that between you guys, things got really real. And the emotions, and it being the lover's card as well, uh, with the love energy of the king of pence on here with the lover album it could be that the energy between you guys got super super intense so they panicked um, and they took a step back from it so let's have a look as to why they took a step back from this let's just get another one and then we'll go into the future why have they took a step back why has this guy girl person took a step back from the situation yeah, so it's what I just said, Knight of Cups. So their emotions for you were really, really real and they've panicked themselves and they've had a freak out and so they've probably gone ghost. They got they got cold feet. Like before you get married, that itchy feeling, like the oh shit, I have these very strong emotions. Like, is this real? What's gonna happen? I'm not sure if I'm ready to settle. Ah 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 panic, 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 overload, freak out, vanish. That's what's happened with your person. Now with the King of Wands over here. This is kind of, it. they are secure in themselves. Like I said, they, they seem to be stable with regard to money. Some of them, 
money in Korea. They have a sense of stability. Some of you guys, some of them absolutely do not actually. Spirit is saying to me, but some of them have. Um, the King of Wands is this kind of very sexually driven person as well. So right now they might be thinking, I'm not ready for a serious relationship. I'm not ready for any level of commitment. So I'm just going to see what happens as I go out into the real world. Okay. Um, and again, like I said, they know that you'll be there. They know that you'll be there. If you if they disappear, they just have this feeling that they can come back at any time. And that kind of leads to a sense of complacency with regard to the two of you. Now, what happens in the future energy with the world and six of wands? There is a coming back together. OK, there is a joining of one another. There is a your live relationship has this chance to come back round again. And I just got the song coming around again. That was from the 80s, I think. Um, I think I was singing then. Um, Carly. Kelly, oh, I can't remember who sang it, but you got that song um, coming around again. So the energy will come back around again with the six of wands. This is your victory. OK, so there is success and victory at the end of this as the cycle comes around. But it's up to you guys if you want to break the cycle, if you want to take a step back from it and change the frequency of it. OK, and if you need any magic for that, you can give me a shout as well, because I do do tailored magic for some of you guys. Just have to check it with Goddess first. I can't just go doing things but if you do want magic we can definitely do that so are you on your person's mind i've gone on a little bit of a spiral there about your future energies and where you are at the moment are you on their mind yeah you are but they are trying not to think about it they're really in this state of avoidance at the moment so yes they do think about you but when they think about you they think oh no i'll take a step back i'll come back when the time is right and that's what's going on in their mind about you so if you want to look at it individually do just give me a shout uh, i'm sending lots of love to you guys and yeah, find me on Insta, Mystic Love Tarot. You can just add me on there and I can do same day return on voice notes so you hear my, my lovely voice, my lovely British accent, my, my stoke accent. <laughs> you hear me? My stoke accent coming through. Um, so if you want to, <laughs> if you want me to do that, you can just drop me a message. Um, I love you all and uh, I will see you next week for mine and Yasmin Westwood's super, super special um, pick a card. Lots of love, guys.